everybody, welcome back to Foil Drive. A really cool announcement today. We've uh, reached out to Kyle at Project Cedrus and we're gonna do an integrated mast with our Foil Drive Assist Plus system, integrated into his aluminium mast. And the cool thing about Project Cedrus, he does lots of different adapters for all sorts of different foil brands. So it's a perfect collaboration in our eyes to, you know, that's what foil drive's about. Use your gear, the boards you already have, the foils you already have, and just add a motor system to it. Kyle's got the similar concept with his mask, so yep. a really cool collaboration uh, that we've got going on here. So. So where did this all come from and why does it exist? Like anything we do with foil drive, we try and add to the sport. We want to make whatever gear that we produce a positive attribute to foiling. Make it better or it doesn't exist. And this really boiled down to, you know, I myself, I just don't go foiling anymore without my foil drive. I just, I just don't do it. It was got to the point where like, well, let's try and design the next level of fit and finish, integration, drag reduction, and optimum riding setup. Okay, so what are the differences between this and the original setup? So it's a normal Assist Plus, but we are adding on, as an option, if you choose to, start to go down that path, the integrated mast as a complete kit, the new version of the pod and the motor system built onto the Assist Plus. The main thing we've done here is we've removed the cable, which you are used to having to tape on and secure. We've taken both of those and we've put it inside this very special pod that we've had to make to accommodate all that hardware. And then we've run the cabling down the trailing edge of the mast and into our own custom CNC machine base plates, specially made for foil drive. This allows us to eliminate the drag associated with the cable that comes off the trailing edge of the mast and the puck. Now I just want to iterate, the normal system isn't, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, this is the next level up of hydrodynamic optimization that you can achieve if you decide to do that. Once you select your pod height, it's fixed. You can't change it. You do lose that adjustability, which we're all uh, very familiar with. You've got the ability to, to adjust the pod height on the original system. So you'd need to make the decision as to what works for you. So that's one drawback, but at the same point in time, there's always another reason why. The positive is the drag reduction, high speed especially, is quite significant. The reality is the cable that comes off the trailing edge of your mast, even just a small section like this, actually has more drag than the entire pod and motor. But for those that really do appreciate any performance gains, that extra glide through the water, downwinding especially, uh, or sup surfing or foil surfing, this makes a big difference. Another reason why we went down this path is a lot of people are purchasing the Foil Drive Assist Plus for e-foiling. It's a cost-effective, cheap, easy to take on camping trips, on a boat, whatever. Um, so we're doing the integrated one that's designed for e-foiling. This just gives you extra performance through the water. If you're constantly on foil, powering around doing e-foiling, the integrated mast means that obviously there's no cable, there's no cable tracks, there's no tape. It's just done. It's perfect out the box. Just go and use it and you do get more speed and you do get a longer run time. 